Good evening boys and girls, and welcome to another reading with me, Good Night Stories. This evening we shall be reading two books, The Skipping Rope Snake by Carol Ann Duffy and illustrated by Lydia Monks, and Say Hello to the Jungle Animals by Ian Wybra and illustrated by Ed Eaves. Remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin our adventures. Say Hello to the Jungle Animals by Ian Wybra and illustrated by Ed Eaves. Through the jungle, off we go. Come along and say hello. A wrinkly rhino eating lunch. Plenty of reeds for him to munch. Hello rhino, crunch, crunch, crunch. Even the hungry crocodile has the time to stop and smile. Hello crocodile, snap, snap, snap. Like a shadow through the trees, a panther wonders at his ease. Hello panther, pad, pad, pad. Watch this cobra shiver and shake. Say hello to this dancing snake. Hello snake. <sniffs> Let's all creep on our tippy toe. There's a tiger down below. Hello sleeping tiger. I see bats in the evening sky. Call hello as they fly by. Hello bats. Eek, eek, eek. Now let's leave the jungle path. The river's just right for a calling bath. Hello, mummy elephant. Swish, swish, swish. Let's come out and sit and dry. Can you wave and say goodbye? Goodbye, rhino. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Goodbye, crocodile. Snap, snap, snap. Goodbye, panther. Pad, pad, pad. Goodbye, snake. Goodbye, tiger. Goodbye, bat. Eek, eek, eek. Goodbye elephants. Wish, wish, wish. If you'd like to look once more, follow me and let's explore. It's now time to start our next adventure. The Skipping Rope Snake by Carol Ann Duffy. The snake in the jungle spoke with a lisp, hung from a branch like a limp wrist. Slithered hither and hither, fist slid out its fangs whispering kith to the lions and tigers and the hippopotamus. The snake in the jungle snoozed in the dust, open <laughs> wide when the mouse squeaked past. Squeezed like a vice if it got the chance to cuddle up to the monkeys or the orangutans. A little girl came walking into the jungle one day, looking high and low for a game to play. She tried to join the dots on the leopard spots, but her pencil jabbed and the cat got cross. She tried playing snap with a crocodile, but it just couldn't shuffle and she didn't like its smile. She tried playing pin the tail on the elephant, but she poked her pin, ouch, into its trunk. And just when she was thinking coming here was a mistake, she saw curled on the ground a skipping rope snake. Quick as a parrot squawk, she tied two knots, one at its end and one at its top. Then she skipped away out of the jungle, homeward bound singing a jingle. Skipping home is a piece of cake when you've got your very own skipping rope snake. The snake was horrified, cross-eyed, tongue-tied, swished in the air with a whoosh like a whip. Flicked on the ground with a scoosh like a skip. But the girl and the skipping rope snake skipped fast. Bye bye rhino, bye bye giraffe, bye bye gorilla, bye bye bats, bye bye lemurs, bye bye big cats. I'm off home, make no mistake, I've got my very own skipping rope snake. That night the little girl slept in her bed, jungly pictures filled her head. Glowing tigers, the colour of carrots. Turquoise hummingbirds, firework parrots, blackboard panthers with chalk white teeth, a swinging washing line of chimpanzees. And the snake in the playroom hung from a hook, next to a teddy and a fairy tale book, dreaming of the jungle talking in its kip. Thanks for the memory, skip, skip, skip. Well, boys and girls, what a fantastic jungle adventure. That little girl looked like she enjoyed skipping through the jungle with her snake skipping rope. 
Thank you for listening to me, Good Night Stories. Remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Good night, sleep tight. Thank you.